a young guy, much like any other young guy that you would know from Italy, who loved adventure. He loved getting real with life, being real with other people. He loved mountain climbing. He did a lot of mountain climbing in his lifetime. Loved playing pool, loved kicking back with his mates. Um, was known as the guy with that real cheesy grin who you couldn't, uh, couldn't avoid smiling if you met him. Um, and everyone loved him. He was just bubbling over with life. He used to lead hikes up into the mountains on the holidays um, and be the life of the party at school. Giorgio non era un supereroe, ci testimonia che tutti con fatica, con dedizione, con tenacia, con costanza possiamo aspirare a essere santi. La potenza dello spirito di verità unito a Cristo lo ha reso moderno testimone della speranza che scaturisce dal Vangelo della grazia di salvezza operante nel cuore dell'uomo. È diventato così il testimone vivo e il difensore coraggioso di questa speranza a nome dei giovani cristiani del secolo XX. One of his friends, his name was Angelo, from Italy. Um, he recounts a few stories of, of Pier Giorgio. They used to go on these house visits together, visiting those who were less fortunate. And Angelo recalls this one occasion when they turned up to a house and as soon as the door opened, this stench, this foul smell just escaped the house and Angelo felt sick. Um, but Pierre Giorgio just burst through the door cheerfully, went into the house smiling and talking to the other people. And afterwards, Angelo says that he, he went up to Pierre Giorgio and said, man, like, how, how did you do that? It stunk. And Pierre Giorgio just turns and says to him, remember what Jesus said, what you do to the poor, you do to me. And these people have a light that surrounds them that we don't have. There's this other side to blessed Pierre Giorgio Frasati. That's what we remember. La figura di Pier Giorgio è sicuramente una figura che parla al cuore di tutti i giovani. Forse la testimonianza più grande e più bella l'ho vista a Sydney. Pier Giorgio è venuto con noi, pellegrino a Sydney, fisicamente, perché le sue spoglie sono state portate nella cattedrale di Sydney. Ed è stato incredibile vedere come questa, la figura di questo giovane torinese fosse visitata da giovani di tutti i colori, di tutte le razze, di tutte le lingue. Tutti questi giovani hanno visitato notte e giorno la cattedrale per incontrare Pier Giorgio, per mh, parlare con lui nel silenzio della, eh, della cattedrale, nel silenzio della meditazione e della, e della preghiera. years after he's died we remember him because he did something different he lived for something higher something greater and that was God and he couldn't help but love he couldn't help but be joyful he couldn't help but give everything that he had to everybody else because God was the reason for his heartbeat <laughs> 